Hi everyone, it's Fox here. I'm figuring I'll give you guys a little hi. This is one of my first videos um, since coming back from a very long break. I'm redoing my Animal Crossing Island and decided that I was going to record the process and try out a new style of video. So, this is my character Fox. She lives on Bliss. I call my island Bliss because, oh lord, it's raining. <laughs> it's, oh, what nasty weather. This is not a good weather for the island tour, but that's okay. Um, this area I will be redoing. But anyway, I named my island Bliss because it is a blissful escape from reality since uh, this game came out right during the COVID-19 pandemic's beginning. And um, it got me through. It got me through. So I will be moving my campsite because I like the idea of having my campsite right here with a cute little backdrop that I'm going to be filling this area with a bunch of little camper things. As you can see, I have the kids tent and the little book. But Animal Crossing is a very wholesome game. It's very relaxing. Um, I've never had any issues with- oh hi Judy! How are you? Uh, rain like this makes me think of sharing an umbrella with a friend. Oh, Judy, would you like to share an umbrella with me, you adorable little bear? Just thinking about it brings back such bittersweet memories. Oh, Judy. <laughs> I stopped by for a chat. Why, Fox, I heard you dug up a great many fossils yesterday. I did. Did you take them to Blathers to have them assessed? I did. He does have a tendency to ramble. Still, it's exciting to hear what he has to say about the musty old things. <laughs> well, Judy, I will give you a cute little, little smile. Oh, hi, Kix. How are you? Let's see what you have for sale today. Hello, looking to buy something else, are you? There's, some, there's a good chum for you. I bought power boots from him earlier because, um... Oh, Bam would look absolutely wonderful at this. Bam is Bay. <laughs> for those of you who don't, um know my villagers, I have a very special spot in my heart for Bam. He is the OG villager. I've had Bam since day one. And um, oh, here's my little dinosaur area. And uh, I've already completed my fossil part of my museum, so I decided to put some dinosaurs over here. And I'll be dressing this area up with some more trees and stuff. But um, we need to go get some wrapping paper so we can wrap up Bam's present for today. Because Bam is Bay. Bam is. So I realized I was eating my microphone. <laughs> yes, I am very curious about what you have in there today. Let's see. Bam is a blue deer, so we're gonna get him some blue wrapping paper. Excellent purchase, I know. <laughs> Let's see, what else do you have in here? Well, we already have those things. So, but that cello up there is quite appealing. 130,000 bells, oh lord. We have quite a bit of grinding to do if we're going to get that without dipping into our savings. But for now, we're just going to wrap up Bam's present. And we're going to bring it to him. Thank you, Timmy and Tommy. Cute little raccoons here. Um, actually, it is a misconception that Timmy and Tommy are raccoons because I'm Marshall. They are actually called Tanookies. Tanooki is... I need to go ahead and do this before my OCD goes absolutely crazy. <laughs> um, Tanookis are a mythical creature in Japanese lore. I that was a scorpion. <laughs> it's just a tree branch. Psych! <laughs> um, and they are known for... Um, being little mischievous or mischievous beings. So there's always that. So let's go and talk to 
Bam! Oh my gosh, that is the crown that I bought him for his birthday. <laughs> By far my most expensive gift that I have ever given to a villager. Look at you, you're reading. He doesn't even have a bed in his house. I need to change that. Bam, are you okay? Bam, you need a bed, sweetheart. I feel kind of bad about not giving him a bed. <laughs> But we need to exit his house and go back in because I can't give him a gift while he has uh, himself seated at his table. So we're gonna exit and give him a chance to get off of his cute little deer booty. Hi, Bam. Look, I have your present. Yes, I have your present, Bam. Oh, he gets so excited whenever I give him gifts. He's, he's one of my more grateful villagers. <laughs> a tool bag. That's a really canape choice. He got that from Raymond. Raymond calls me canape, or he used to. I think I changed what Raymond calls me. I think he calls me friendo now. I hope you like it, Bam. I need to get you a bed. That weight bench is just not gonna cut it, sweetheart. <laughs> it's just not gonna do it. But I've recently kind of redone Bam's yard. I need to finish digging up the flowers. I've kind of taken over. So we're gonna do that. Boink. <laughs> there. Oh my gosh, this game is so cute. So during the COVID-19 pandemic, my husband and I were quarantined in our house for almost two months with our three young children. And it kept me going because I had villagers to talk to, and, uh, wow, that sounds really pathetic, doesn't it? <laughs> but I had villagers to talk to, and, um, uh, I wasn't bored or lonely, so I wonder how all these flowers got in here. I think I planted one flower, just one single flower, but I haven't had a whole lot of time to play because I've been in school and college has taken up like 99% of my life. So, here you go, bam. Now we have a nice little area for you to um, exercise in. Let's see, let's go ahead and put some of this grass, no, not this one, but that one. That way, the, um, that's not where I wanted it. That's not where I wanted it. There we go. That way no more flowers will grow and it won't get quite as out of hand and you barely notice that it's there. So, we're gonna move his exercise bike over just a little bit. That way he can still get to his punching bag and it won't look too crowded. But, Bam really likes his punching bag and his pull-up bar. His pull-up bar was one of the first things that I put in here, as well as this doodad. I like him, so I actually redid all of this out here for Bam, but I would like to redo my island in Cottagecore, so all of that will be gone away. But for right now, I want to focus on selling a bunch of these flowers that I don't need, and getting rid of these Christmas decorations, because, oh my goodness, it is no longer Christmas. What am I doing with my life? <laughs> too many things in here. So that's going to be my focus for tonight. Because I'm going to redo my cafe and take out all of the Christmas decorations and put them into a very relaxing, kind of chic, or chic, whatever you want to say. Kind of put them into a relaxing and more chic kind of feel. And all these really brightly colored flowers, they're very pretty. I really like them, but they don't fit the aesthetic too, too well, so we're going to get rid of them because we have a bunch of flowers on the island. And um, I would like to have a few less. Just a few. As you're gonna see. So, a lot of my friends play Animal Crossing as well, and um, all of them kind of got me into it, and it 
add us through some tough stuff. So whenever we had um, coated stuff, oh, did not mean to click let's craft. I don't mean to craft, I need to customize. But, you know, I, I feel like the, the COVID-19 pandemic was difficult on everyone. I kind of really like the white. Oh, but it's that dark brown. Oh my gosh, I love it. Alright, let's see what kind of patterns that I've downloaded. Oh, that's so pretty. I don't know why, but I really love this. This is really, it's really nice. And I love it with the dark wood. So it's what we're go with. <laughs> I customized this all. Alright, now I need to customize Mom's homemade cake. Oh my gosh, that chocolate cake looks so good. My favorite type of cake is definitely chocolate. It is delish. So, I really like the aesthetic of that one. And I love this one. That's so cute. The little dog cake. But, my favorite type of cake is chocolate. So we're gonna go with chocolate. And we're gonna have that be what we put out. And then we have our cushions that we need to customize. I had a Christmas theme going for my island. I just really love those. That pattern. That pattern is so... It reminds me of a little bit of like country, western type of stuff, which I love the aesthetic for. So, oops. We're gonna go ahead and do that with the other cushion as well. There it is. I also really like these zen type cushions and the purple ones because purple is my favorite color. I love that as well. I have a lot of very cute designs that I've downloaded off of the, uh, the little portal. And this game just makes me so happy. It's so wholesome. It's so wonderful. Okay, so we did two of the really brightly colored cushions. I'm thinking that maybe we should probably do something different because my favorite color is purple. I wonder if we could find a pattern like the orange one but in purple. We're gonna see how this looks. You can always go back and find more custom created stuff. More little customization kits if I need them. Let's see what the hammock looks like. Hmm. Oh, that's cute. I love that. That's even better. Oh my goodness. I am just in love with this orange sign. I never really like orange, but this really, really pops. I absolutely love it. I just hate that, um... I hate that it's raining. What what is what is even going on? <laughs> okay, so let's see how these look. Oh my goodness, this looks so adorable. So adorable. So I want this area to be a little bit more modern than the rest of the cottage core because of kind of what's going on around it. Um Let's see. Oh, I don't have anything to put on that table. We're gonna have to fix that. I'm gonna get rid of these chairs. I don't like them, and they don't fit the aesthetic at all. I'm also really not feeling these tables either. But we're gonna go put those things back in our inventory and see what else could I have. Since I haven't had a whole lot of time to put into my Animal Crossing Island, some of the things that I have are a little mismatched, but they're placeholders for the ideas that I'm going to use later on. So let's put the stuff that I don't need away. Okay. Um, I'm not going to need the school desk or the painting set. I might need the simple panel. 
Let's see. I don't need the baby chair. I'm gonna go ahead and put the cart banner away. I can't think of a place that I would like to put it right now. So we're gonna go ahead and get rid of that. And definitely these baby chairs. And the Yule Dog, because that's for Christmas. So let's see what we have to work with. Let's go all the way up to the top. Okay, I don't like the diner chairs. Oh, those log stools are so cute. So cute. Oh my goodness, I love the spooky chairs. And it, it's really cottage-esque. I may redo this area and not make it modern or chic, or chic at all. <laughs> <clears throat> it just depends. I really think that I would love it if it was all cottagecore, but I'm very, very new to the whole cottagecore thing. Oh my gosh, those lanterns are so cute. That does not go at all, but it's adorable. Oh, a cute little basket of fruit. We can have her. Or casserole. And um, wedding cake doesn't go, but you know. It definitely is adorable. So we're just gonna keep looking around. That's just too cute. <laughs> oh, maybe someone's reading a book. Oh, I like that. I love that idea. I love to read. So. Birthday cake, no. And all these are wall mounted things. So let's see what kind of fences I have. Let's go down. I love that fence. That fence is so cute. And it's really the only fence that I have that I really like at the moment. So. I think we're just gonna kind of leave that there. We may get some hedges just to add a little bit of, you know, romance to it. And I may scatter some wasp nests around, even though I don't really like wasps. My friend and I jokingly call them wisps. <laughs> Oh, some cute little mushrooms would be nice to put all over the place, too. Oh, and some pumpkins. Oh, I love those. Those are adorable. Alright, so let's see if we can make anything with these pumpkins. Um, let's craft. It's been a long time since I have been able to make any th changes to my island. Let's look in housewares. I think it'd be really cool if I had like some some chairs and some sofas and stuff out. And maybe a rocking chair? Do I have a rock? Oh yes, I have a rocking chair recipe. Okay. I think this is gonna go really well. Oh, I even have the tiny library. <laughs> I love that. And the street piano. Oh, I love this. I would, of course, customize it because the graffiti on it makes it look like an eyesore. A bright piano and a painting set. And there's a little bamboo stuff. You know what? I have a fall. You know, this is actually kind of cute. Okay, I need some more spooky chairs, but for right now, this will work. Because I don't want to make this video too, too long. It's just something for you guys to relax to. And enjoy watching something wholesome. It's going to be some more sweet quiet. I always want to have a but I'll never let it rain on the parade, even when it's literally raining. I'll have a parade inside. I don't care. I love that green mushroom. If I had to sum up the museum in one word, it'd probably be really cool. It only counts the same fact. Oh, I'm just a I love 
maybe there's this, this cute little deck, but I don't want it to be this big. I want it to be like the hidden area for my villagers to have to try and like find a little bit. I get like what I've done with Nook's Granny so far, so like I don't really want to change Nook's Granny any because I like this storefront. Oops. I like the storefront look for that, but I like the Evil Sisters since they work more off of their creativity with the a little bit more I don't know. I feel like they were more kind of hyper shop just just a little bit. Maybe they have like this this little area right here, but right here it's probably where I'm gonna cut it off. I could have like one chair and one little area instead of this big huge area. And I could line with flowers or hedges. It would be really adorable. I think that's what I'm gonna do. I like that. I really like that. I need to do over. Oops. There we go. All of the stuff that I used to love about my island is now changing because things change. Um, sometimes for the better, which I think my island being changed is gonna definitely be for the better. It's been like this for the year that I've been playing the game. And um, it's just, it's time. It's time. It's time for it to change. Every now and then I'm going to change a little bit. Sometimes you change for the better. And you can get rid of, you know, toxic relationships or a toxic job or a toxic work environment, sometimes you can't avoid it, but if you can change what's around you to make yourself happy, then that's all that really matters. And I believe that people should strive to be at peace with their life and to be happy. All work and no play makes a very, very dull person. <laughs> I may have to go to Mystery Island and dig up some trees because, good lord, I don't know if I have enough trees. I would love to have like these, um, the mushroom DIYs, but unfortunately I was unable to play during the fall semester in college. And, um, I did not get any of them, so I'm be adding things. It will look wildly unfinished for a very long time. That's okay. This game is not about perfection. Not all at once. It is about the journey and making your, making your island look the way that you want. Brag, my best friend is graduating college tomorrow. I am so excited for her. Shout out to my Claire Bitter. She has worked her tail off and has absolutely just killed it in college. I am so proud of her. And I think that she is just an amazing person. She has taught me so much about myself, even in like the past year that I've known her. She's like, if I had a friend soulmate, she would be able. Like, Claire, you are my girl. I love you. Let's see how this looks in here. Because I really need this little 
install the over here. Too far. There. So come over here. You can get you up maybe I'll move it up there. You can get your little treats and then you know, go into the evil sister shop. Goodness, why are we so oh that's our spooky chairs. Okay. Hmm. Alright, now what does this stall look like? Did I change this stall? No, goodness gracious, I did not change that stall. Let's do that. They just look, whoops, they look amazing. Julia, she has a bachelor's degree in um, biology and instrumentation. Super, super happy for her. Alright, so we have our little stall here. You know, maybe it's right in front of the door. Like, maybe we have to, like, walk this way to get in. Yeah. And we could put our little popcorn machine right here. This could be the area where you get your treats. Let's see what else we have. What does the end table look like? I totally forgot. Uh, no, we are not feeling that. And maybe there's like a little chair back here. Maybe we could put, oops. Maybe we could put, put our little chairs right here. Can you even see them? chair back here. Yeah, you can. You can kind of see them. I like the, the kind of hidden vibe that that gives off. Because it's like an exclusive club that you have to like belong to in order to get in. Okay, so let's see what all we have down here. This is our pop-up book, a cake, because we're definitely going to need cake. Like our fruit basket, espresso maker, coffee cup, casserole dish. You know what? Let's just try a couple things and see what we like. Because I love the idea of having the espresso machine there. Let's switch this out with one of the panels. Yeah. Mm. Let's move this with the podium. Okay. So let's see. Okay, so I definitely want my cake there. Alright, cool. You can still see that there's little chairs back here. Simple panel, wooden chair. Where is You know what? Why does the casserole look like right there? Oh no. I did not mean to pick up the cake. I'm gonna put the cake in the middle. If I can ever find it. I'm carrying so much stuff. So much stuff. There it is. Okay, simpler is definitely better. Oh, the Evil Sisters just closed their doors on me. Yup, it is 9 o'clock <laughs> already. This should probably be turned the other direction. There we go. And we're gonna go ahead and turn it on. 
just because I love that the developers of Animal Crossing make such cute little additions. It just adorbs. But you know what? We're gonna put our other stuff in here. And we're gonna see how this looks. You know what? I kind of like that. I kind of... I kind of love that. Maybe we can put the popcorn maker here. Maybe we put it on the other side. Because then... Then we could put the other two seats right there. Yes. And then I could put the... Oops. Come on now. And then I could put, um, like the cute little flowers and stuff around it. And it would still be the same aesthetic that I really want. I don't want to sit down. Come on now. Okay. So, let's see. Where's my other stupid chair? Oh my gosh. I absolutely am in love with this. In love. I tell you. Oh yes, that is so cute. Okay, so what are we gonna put over here? Mm, let's try the fruit basket and let's see what that looks like. Yeah, there are little baked goods out here. Oh, it's so cute. Okay, so what do the hedges look like? Build ones. Let's see what this looks like. Alright, do we love it? Or do we hate it? dig some white flowers up from like right up here because I've been using this space that I didn't really know what to do with to kind of house flowers that I didn't really know where else to grow. I feel like the Able Sisters are like pink. I'm gonna have these gold ones over here. I dug up the red ones, of course I did. Of course I did. I need some more moms. I really want some more moms. Let's see. I can't swap it with the red roses at all. I'll tell you what, I put the red roses in the back because those are like the most colorful. And then we'll put pink. Mm. And then we'll top it off with some white. Mm. 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 100% my blind for here. Let's see. Mm. Maybe they would have Lily of the Valleys over there. Let's see what the Lily of the Valley looks like before we make our final, final decision. Because we still have a place to plant a flower here. Yes. Yeah, I hate these red flowers back here. I'm not a big fan of the pink ones over there. We're gonna have to get some more flowers. English colors. But so far, I really like this. Okay, I need to put some cherries so I can dig up some trees. No, no, no. No, no, no. 
and nom nom nom. I love this furnace. Okay. So, I want pine trees. I want pine trees. Pine trees. There they are. Alright, how many can I carry? Oh, apparently I'm only carrying one. So let's go over here. I wonder how pine tree looks like right here. I don't think I can plant it right there. Plant it right here. Oh, that's cute. It's like it, you, you walk past and then it reveals a little bit of what's going on over here. Love, love, love. Okay, so then we're gonna put some. Fencing. Right there. You know what? We might put a pumpkin. We might put a little pumpkin right here. Just because I think it would be really cute. Um, I don't want to drop all of them. I just want to drop one of them. Oh, I can put that star fragment over here. I don't hate it yet. I don't want to drop all of the pumpkins. So I'm just gonna like... Oh my gosh. Come on, box. What are you doing? Grab one. There we go. We're gonna drop that right. Here. Oh, that's cute. I'm not feeling that star right there, though. Maybe I can put it right here? Oh, yeah. That's way better. Way better. Copper bug. Coating. Animal Crossing. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!